The ancient titles of Odogu and the ASC, which are known to be military in origin, were among some of the titles that had existed in Asaba for a very long time. The Odogu is called Odogu Ahaba, while ESA is called ESA Ahaba. They are the principal characters in the annual inner festival of Asaba. In the old days, when there were frequent inter-tribal wars, the Odogu and the ASA maintained very prominent positions in the tradition of Asaba, as the titles were then conferred only on those men found to be suitable for such offices. Presently, with peace and civilization everywhere, the titles are hotly contested for. Their importance as traditional war leaders is still recognized with their traditional functions in the present-day Asaba. Asaba culture has undergone some dynamic changes with time in terms of content and mode of celebration. The inner festival which commences on an earlier market day is the last of the annual traditional festival of Asaba people and indeed the climax of the annual New Yam festival. The ceremony involves the five quarters that make up Asaba, which are Umweze, Bumente, Umwago, Umweji, and Omoneje, where the people assemble at Obweke Square in Asaba to dance and sing praises to Almighty God and ancestral gods, and thereafter proceed in dancing procession to pay their respect to the Odogu and ASA of Asaba who in the old days were the principal warlords of Asaba. The inner festival is also an opportunity for the warriors, the Obus, and able-bodied men to showcase their military prowess, demonstrating their readiness to defend Asaba and to thank the Almighty God for preserving their lives through the year. It is also a celebration of the end of the traditional year and the beginning of another farming season. The inner festival is a period of happiness. And as such, burials and mornings are not permitted, hence the suspension of traditional burial ceremonies in the town until the festivities are over. The festival, which was in the recent times celebrated in a day, has been reverted to the old system this year, where each quarter takes a day for the celebration. While Umweji Quarter, we join the last quarter to celebrate theirs. The dancing groups are led by the Otu Haza and Obus. The Obus are done in red attires, armed with their spears obodos, and their headgears are done with ego and paros feathers, where the military bodyguards of the Odogu and ESA. The procession, which was in order of seniority, was led by Umweji Quarter, as the Odogu title is now with the Quarter, followed by Umweze, Obomente, Omoago, and Umweji Quarters. At the ESA's residence, all the five quarters were received with pop and pageantry, after which they were entertained. <laughs> Commenting on the significance of this festival, the chief celebrant, the ASA of Asaba and former secretary to the state government of the defunct Bendel state, Obi Chief Patrick Onyobi, said the Ine Day was a remarkable one as it was the climax of the New Year festival as well as the end of all the traditional festivals of the year. Obi Onyobi said it was an opportunity for all the indigenous, both young and old, to thank God for the gift of life. He noted that all other ceremonies, including burials, earlier suspended, could now hold. What have been doing for ages, I have not allowed the culture to die. But due to the totality of the human existence, it has been said that the people without culture are dead. But if you don't know where you are coming from, you are not likely to know where you are going. So every year we celebrate our festivals, 
And the last one is the Lunar Festival, which has approved marriage the end of the traditional family season and the year of the new one. Um, it involves both men and women. They uh, engage in traditional dances led by the Moose, who are the warrior class. The ESA of Fasaba seized the opportunity to thank the state government for its effort to transform the state capital, Asaba, and pledge the continued support of Asaba people to the government. Obi Onyobi said the community was determined, with the support of the government, to convert the Ine festival and some other festivals to tourist events to create employment and generate wealth for the people. He advised the youths to shun us capable of jeopardizing the inner festival and urged them to sustain the existing peace in the area. At Odogu's residence, the five quarters were equally received and entertained. Togu of Asaba, Obi Wanze Udwe, said the festival was one of the important festivals of Asaba, as well as the end of all the traditional festivals of the year. He said it was also an avenue for the people to appreciate God for keeping them alive in spite of the problems facing the country and aid the youth to continue to maintain the existing peace in the area. It's a blessing, man. Today is the inner festival, the last festival of the annual calendar year. And our first we call it Ibu Okwensu. Ibu Okwensu is not celebrating the evil one or the devil itself. But Ibu Okwensu is the kind of a clear the evil ones, clear the evil ones, clear the past that will now usher in the new calendar year, the new farming season. This is the last of our ceremonies, final ceremonies, final festival. And uh, like I said earlier, it's the people of cleansing of the land and preparing the community and the land itself for the new farming season. Others who spoke noted that the festival was always a joyous occasion and thanked Asaba leaders and youths for remaining peaceful, urging them to sustain it. All villages who we are not going to meet the, the warhead, the Odogu. That is like we are going to check his preparedness, okay. his readiness as the Odogu of Asaba. Test his uh, profile, profile and all the uh, things, ornaments that he, he has to see if we can uh, defeat, him. defeat him and all that. So you are prepared? Well, am I not prepared? <laughs> <laughs> I am not prepared. <laughs> Although the festival is generally led by the warriors, women also participate actively in recognition of their important roles in times of war as keepers of the home front. However, the festival now takes the form of a cultural carnival, which at the same time reminds the people of Asaba of the greatness of the warriors who saved Asaba from being overrun by invaders until the Royal Niger Company emerged in the later part of the 19th century and used superior fire power to partially subdue the people, culminating in Asaba being made the headquarters of the Royal Niger Company in 1886. 
The company exercised authority over a large part of what later became modern Nigeria. Historically, therefore, Asaba could be said to be one of the earliest capitals of Nigeria and honor its shares with Calabar and Lokoja. The ASC and Odogu are the custodians of Asaba people's Ikenga, the guiding spirit, which was usually consulted in times of war or major events. The Ine Festival, which is very colorful and vibrant, represents Asaba people's effort to avoid the total eclipse of their traditions and cultural heritage in the face of intimidating threats from Western cultural influences and values.